Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this video, we'll be going over how to set up your Redbubble artist profile by adding an avatar, your cover image, and your bio. I have tons more Redbubble and other tutorials on the way, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to be notified each time I release a new video. So to get started, let's go over how to add an avatar to your Redbubble profile. To get to your account settings, let's go up to the top menu and click on your account icon here. From the drop down menu, let's go down and click on account settings. Here's where you can add your avatar, your cover image, and update your profile information. So let's start by adding your avatar. Your avatar is simply your profile image and can help bring a little personality to your Redbubble store. For your image, I recommend either using a professional headshot or your brand logo. So to add our avatar, let's click on the choose file button here. You can then locate and select the image that you wish to use. For my avatar, I think I'll use my martial art lifestyle brand logo. Once you've selected your file, you then want to click on the upload button here. Once your upload completes, you'll then be taken to your dashboard where you can view your brand new Redbubble avatar. So now that we have an avatar for our Redbubble shop, let's head back over to the account settings menu and create and upload our cover image. Underneath the avatar section, you'll see a section that says cover image. Here's where you can upload a banner for your Redbubble shop. So before we can upload a cover image, we'll first need to create one. Cover images on Redbubble must be 2400 pixels wide by 600 pixels high in JPG or PNG format. So to create our Redbubble banner, let's head over to one of my favorite places to create banners, which is canva.com. You can find a link to the Canva website in the video description. Canva is one of the best places to create banner images, cover art, and all sorts of other graphics. So to create our Redbubble cover image, let's look up at the top left and click on the Create a Design button. From the drop down, you want to click on Custom Dimensions, then type in 2400 pixels by 600 pixels. You can then click Create Design. This should open up the image editor where you can create your banner. From the Templates tab on the left hand side, you can see tons of free templates that Canva has that you can use to create your images. Simply scroll through the different templates and select the one you would like to use. For my cover image, I think I'll start with this template here. Once you select a template, it should appear on the right hand side in the template editor. You will then be able to edit any element inside the template, including changing the text, colors, and the images. I'll start by changing the text to reflect my martial art lifestyle brand. From the menu up top, you can change things like the font, the text size, the color, and the format. To rearrange your text or your images, simply select it, then drag and drop them wherever you like. In this blank space here, I think I'll add my brand logo. So in order to add a new image, let's click on the uploads tab on the left hand side, then go up and click on upload image or video. Now I'm just going to select the image that I wish to add to my banner. Your image should then start uploading. Once it's finished uploading, simply click the image to add it to your banner. Once you've added your new image, you can then drag the image to the correct location, resize your image, or use any of the editing tools at the top menu. For this image here, I'm going to replace it with the mock-up image that I created for my brand. My brand is Martial Art Lifestyle, so I created this mock-up image with a martial artist wearing my Martial Art Lifestyle brand shirt. It was actually created using a mock-up generator tool. I'll put a link to the tool in the video description. Now I'm just going to adjust the location of the image, and I'm going to adjust the image saturation levels so it doesn't look black and white. There we go. I think it looks much better with some color. So once you finish editing and creating your banner, you'll need to download it to add it to Redbubble. To do this, let's go up to the top right and click this drop down arrow beside Publish. You can then click on Download, make sure the file type is PNG, then click on the Download button. And there we have it. You've just created your cover image for Redbubble. Now let's head back over to the Redbubble site and add our cover image to our shop. So from the cover image section, go ahead and click on Choose File. You can now select the banner that we just created on Canva. Once you've selected the file, go ahead and click on Upload. Once the file finishes uploading, your new cover image will now be added to your Redbubble shop. I actually made a few updates to my banner such as changing the mock-up image so it looks slightly different. So now that we've added your Redbubble avatar and cover image, 
let's go down to the profile section. Here's where you can add your Redbubble bio. Your bio will be displayed on your shop, so go ahead and write a short description of yourself or your brand in 500 words or less. Once you finish writing your bio, you can then scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Save Changes. And voila, my profile was successfully saved. So now let's take a look at my Redbubble shop now that I have a new avatar, cover image, and bio. Let's click on the account tab at the top right, then click on your shop. So here's my new Redbubble shop for my martial art lifestyle brand. I have my new banner showing my logo and my mock-up image, and my avatar which is shown right above my display name. If you click on view artist profile here, you'll be taken to the bottom of the page where you can also see your bio. I wrote this bio pretty quick for the demonstration, but I'll go back and add some more later. So that's a quick overview of how to get started with your Redbubble shop. I have a lot more tutorials coming soon, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.